<laughs> um, I'm really pleased the way we played, uh, the performance, um, how we control certain areas of the game that are very much needed if you want to dominate the game against Brentford. Uh, and obviously really pleased um, to win the match and go top of the league into, into a break. His consistency, um, how he goes about every day, um, how he's learned um, through different moments in his career, whether they are here with the national team, and his willingness all the time to stay humble, uh, look forward, and, and try to get better. And when you do that, normally good things happen. And obviously, last, last time in Brentford, he, he didn't feel comfortable wearing the armband. I think when one of your players was subbed off. Real performance of leadership, I thought. Absolutely, and uh, and he was demanding it as well. I think he feels now that that love and respect go both ways. I think um, you see our supporters the way they were singing to him as well. Um, it makes him emotionally, makes him uh, try to give even more. And uh, I'm really pleased for him because, in my opinion, he fully deserves it. Uh, hi, hi, Michael. Um, first Premier League start for Javier Vieira today. He scored also a wonder goal uh, with the ability, obviously, he possesses and what he's shown before with Porto. Well, uh, I think he's having a good progression. Obviously, he's missed uh, the whole preseason due to, to an injury, and that was very unlikely. But uh, we know uh, his talent. Uh, we know the reasons why we signed him and what he can bring to the team. But uh, to do it against Brentford in this ground in his Premier League debut is a different story, and it shows again his his character and his quality. Uh, where do you feel like he can fit in your system? That's something that still needs to be decided, but um, in those two attacking midfield positions, for sure, and I think he's played off the sides as well. So in relation, it's more about the relations he's got in, in his unit and in his side and, and where he feels more comfortable, but um, the position that he plays today, I think he fits him really well. Oh, hi, uh, just on Fabio, I know he's been someone you've been quite excited about, um, and I guess would his risk taken on the ball be the reason for that? Because he seemed to just... He's like this, he's a creative player, he needs to play uh, with his gut feeling and his instinct and uh, and that's what he needs to do and we need to create uh, as much uh, scenarios as possible for him to, to give us and, and put the, his talent to the service of the team And but as well what I like is the way he competes and to go here and the way he went about the ugly part of the game I was really impressed with. Okay, well, you, you said set some Premier League history today with, with, with him. Just, mm -hmm. just, just tell us about about him as a kid and I guess this is it was a pure a see. pure gut feeling. Um, I met the boy, I really like what I saw. Obviously, Pedro, the academy and staff are giving me really good information about it, Edu as well. And I met him, he's trained a couple of times with us. Yesterday he had to come because we have other injuries, especially with the injury of Martin. And then I had that feeling from yesterday that uh, if the opportunity could come, uh, that I was going to do it, and uh, I just done it. No, no hesitation. I know it's the 90th minute, but that, that's reward for what he's shown you. It's another step, another experience in your career. All the steps are not going to be forward. Um, after that, maybe he needs three backwards to go another one forward. But uh, um, I think he deserves it, and he sends as well as really a strong message um, about who we are as a club. A year, if you look at the game that he played here a year ago and today, uh, it's just incredible how fast um, they grow, they mature, they they recognize situations, their execution level, their understanding. Their, even physically, he looks a different player. Um, I thought he was really good today again. Mm. Yeah, it's true that we replace them with different plays as well. We have to be honest um, with that. And uh, yeah, what a lot of people described um, as a bad day uh, was an embarrassing day. Um, I looked at it as a, as a good building character day. And if you want to become a different team, uh, you have to learn from those moments. You have to go through those moments. Um, and then days like today happen, which everybody is really happy in that dressing room. It feels really 
with the way we play that um, that we are enjoying our our football and um, it's another step You can ask me every day. Today we are top of the league. I'm so happy. Yesterday I was annoyed because we lost it, and uh, and we use that that today we want to get back there and and show that we want to be there, and that's all we're going to do: push um, to be the best as we can be, and and that's and that's going to be the aim. And then the table won't lie. After 38 games, um, normally it's it's quite fair. Yeah. To Ethan, yeah. those things is better than to tell them. Just throw in there and, and see what happened. <laughs> I told him yesterday that he was going to, to be with us and uh, that I wanted him to experience uh, how it is to be in the hotel, to do a preparation of the game, to be around the boys, and um, and that he had to be ready. If you are in that bench, you have to be ready. And the boy just look in your eyes and he's ready. Sorry? Yeah, congratulations and enjoy it. That's it. Miguel, when you put uh, a pressure on a player like that by making him a record breaker, mm. do you take a personal sort of interest in him? Or will you, no. When he takes those three steps back... All the decisions that uh, that we take, that I take, is is for the club. It's not for me, it's not for the player, it's because we believe and... Uh, that he has a talent that has to be developed incredibly in the next two three years and uh, we will see how we manage that and and the boy will dictate normally it's not us normally the players tell you and demand you and how far you can go on that two more nick Is it, does it give you a lot more self-confidence <coughs> as, as a manager and a coach mm. to come back here 13 months on with a completely different performance and announcement well obviously it makes me feel much better um because I saw a team that uh, plays the way we want to play, the way we train every single day, and that shows a lot of character and quality to do what they've done on that pitch against a really good brand for sight that, uh, that you see every week, and how much they, they make teams suffer. And just briefly, plans for the international break? What will you do? Personal plans? Yes. Maldives, no. I don't know. I haven't planned yet. I want to spend some time with my, with my kids and my family. I don't know if that will be in London or, or away. And look after the boys that they are here because we've got quite a few. Um, we need to look after them as well because some of them are injured. And, um, and I start prepared because we have a beautiful game coming up uh, pretty soon. Adrian? Mikel, just um, what you, think? you spoke about the gut feeling. Was that a gut feeling you got about... I don't know what it is for. It's when I met him, when I look at him, I had that feeling. And also, you said about it sends a message about who we are as a club. What do you mean by that? Is it the opportunities you can give to players? In the future? That we want to give opportunities when there is talent, when there is personality, and when there is players that love what they do so much and they have no fear. Um, that the doors are opened uh, to explore um, where they can go. Thanks, everyone. Yeah.